The problem from this video can be downloaded at accountingworkbook.com. If you go to the website, click the PDF link and you can download a copy of this and all of my problems for yourself. Now, if you check the website and you click on videos, you'll see there are more videos than those I've listed publicly on YouTube. You can see that there's uh, every problem covered in the workbook has either a public video or a members only video. If you'd like access to the members only video, just click the join button beneath the video player on YouTube. All right, let's jump into the problem. Let's examine problem 12-1A. This has us doing a horizontal analysis. Now just wherever you are in your seat right now, give me like a hand gesture for horizontal. Okay, have you done it? Just with your hands, show me what horizontal looks like. Horizontal looks like this, doesn't it? Not like this, not like up and down. Horizontal looks like, kind of like that. Well, horizontal analysis has us analyzing financial statements like this. What does it mean? Well, if we look at this Elkie company and look at its financial statements, horizontal means we're comparing one year to the next, right? We're comparing two years to each other. We're not looking up and down the statement to compare, oh, what's our sales versus our cost of goods sold. No, no, no. We're comparing 2023 sales to 2024 sales. This is so fundamental. Right? When I analyze a company, this is one of the first things I do. Just I eyeball it and I look for big numbers that had big changes. So I'll look and I'll say, oh, you know, what were our year over year sales? Oh, our sales grew, right? You can just eyeball this and you can say, oh, horizontally, my sales grew from 151 to 168. They grew by $17,000. Already I'm saying something intelligent. I can say, oh, our sales were up $17,000. How much were they up the year before? You know, they were up 50,000 the year before. Oh, only 17 this year? That's not great. You already know something about the company very quickly, right? Big numbers with big changes tell you a story about a company. So that's what a horizontal analysis sets out to do. And this is the most basic horizontal analysis. I put a triangle there. I'll put it in black ink. Triangle means change. And so our year over year change here is all we want to do. So 151 to 168 means it's a change of plus $17,000, right? Our sales are up $17,000. Our cost of goods sold up 12,000. Our gross profit up 5,000. Our operating expenses are up two. Our operating income up three. Our interest expense down 1,000. Our income before tax up 4,000. Our income taxes are up 1,000. And our net income is up 3,000. So already we've kind of learned something, right? We've learned, okay, most things are up interest expenses down, that might be related, that is related to long-term debt more than any financial performance. So the change is relevant, but what's even more useful, and you'll see this stated very commonly, is the percentage change year over year. So to compute a percentage change, you just take that change number and divide by the earlier year. So for example, for my sales, the change was 17,000, I'm going to divide by the sales of the earlier year, 151, oh, 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 and I'm going to say, hey, my sales are up 11.2, actually 11.3, I'm rounding the wrong way here, 11.3%. My cost of goods sold, 12,000 divided by 78, 15.4%. My gross profit, 5 divided by 78. Three, my gross profit is up 6.8%. My operating expenses up 6.7%. My operating income 6.97%, 7 7.0%, I guess that rounds to. Uh, my interest expense, one uh, divided by three. It's down 33%, 33 and a third. Uh, four divided by 40, I can already tell you that that's up 10.0%. I didn't put pluses here, but these are all up, 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 up. Uh, income taxes are also up 10%. And our profits up 10%. 
Okay, so again, we can say something intelligent. Our sales are up 11%. That compares to last year's sales, which were increased by 20%. You know, you can compare uh, things by percentages. And, and again, it's it's useful. Like saying, you know, if I told you my company's sales are up $17,000, it doesn't mean much because you don't know the size of the company. If I say, oh, my company's sales are up 10% or 11.3%, you get a better feel. And you don't look at it in a vacuum. I would say, okay, I'm looking at Home Depot or Lowe's, you know, very similar companies. Home Depot sales were up 15%. Lowe's sales were up by 9%. Well, Home Depot outperformed Lowe's, right? Where, you know, uh, maybe Amazon sales were up 30% and they're just not comparable. I would want to compare to similar competitors. Um, okay, which items would I call out? If I, were, if I were analyzing this company, if I were the operator here, I would actually be most concerned with this one. That would be the number I'd be calling out. I'd say, look, sales are up 11%, but COGS are up 15 We should have been way more profitable. We generated 11% uh, more sales, uh, but only 7% more gross profit. And the reason was our costs were up. Why were our costs of goods sold up? Did we have to reduce our prices and therefore our margins got squeezed? Uh, was there, uh, were our costs just up generally? Maybe we should raise the prices. What's going on that COGS was up at a, just a higher rate than everything else? So that would be the number uh, that I might investigate. You might think, oh, I should investigate the interest expense. This wouldn't take much investigation. I think you would look at the debt and you could see the terms of the debt were likely better or you just had less debt being serviced but the the alarming number from an uh, investor standpoint or the number that you'd be worried about is that one cogs being up uh at a higher rate than our sales we would expect you know you sell 10 percent more stuff guess what your cost of goods sold should go up by 10 percent. well we sold 11 percent more stuff our cost of goods sold was up 15 percent. this is significant and worth investigating okay that's it for this video stay tuned for the next one